Hi there, welcome back to another tutorial here on the nice tower channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to model this modern kids bed. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. It really keeps me going. Now let's jump in. Let me move it back right here. Now use rectangle tool draw a rectangle right here by 180 comma 100 now use move tool take a copy of this edge by first centimeter this one by 50 centimeter and here 18 centimeter and again 40 centimeter like this now let me delete here and select this surface and make it group and also this one and another one make all of them a single group like this then go to inside of this one and use push wall tool extrude by 60 centimeter and also this one this one and this one now go to inside of this unit select the surface and use ctrl c take a copy of that then use offset tool take an offset by 1.6 now extrude here by 59 centimeter and make it group again go to edit menu and use paste in place extrude this surface by 1.6 Let me make it group 2. Now go to inside of this one and select this edge. Take a copy of that up to here. Now divide it by 2. Divide 2. Again, offset holes 1.6. Here 2 and let me use push pull and extrude here to 15 and here to let me select all and make it group again use rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle right here select all and make it component click on create and now let me take a copy of that up to here go to inside of one of them then use offset tool again take an offset by 0.3 let me pull here this line and also this line x ray by 1.6 and also again use offset tool take an offset by 6.5 select the middle surface use a scale tool and a scale it hold the control key to scale from two sides scale it up to here now use arc tool let me fill out the corners here here and also here again use push wall tool extrude it by 1.3 
I test. So let me make box drawer. I here to can offset the latest surface now. Use special tool, accelerate by 54. Again, offset tool 1.6 and also here 12. Now let's work on this unit. But inside of that, let me extrude by 1.6 like this. Now let me take an offset from here and also extrude it. And now let me use rectangle tool and draw rectangle right here and move it to the middle. Here, lock the axis up to here. Again, use our tool, fill the corners here, here, and also here, like this. And let me delete these additional lines and also with push pull tool empty here and draw another rectangle right here then use a scale tool a scale it up to here again arc tool also fill the corners and also here draw the rectangle fill it the corners select that one and use move tool Press Ctrl, take a copy of that up to here. Now divide it by 3. Select all of them. And use Fillet tool. Take a copy of that. From this side, press Ctrl to take a copy. Now let me select this one and also this one, press control, take a copy up to here. Take a copy of that up to here and divide it by 15 and take another copy for this side. and rotate it by rotate tool move it on the surface let me fix it move it here now take another copy up to here and divided by five now use push pull tool and empty all of them like this select all and make it group again let me use paint bucket take a copy of this material and put it on this unit and also on this surface like this and this drawers 
here like this. Now let's work on this one. Another rectangle right here and fill it to corners to select the surface, use flip tool and take a copy of that from right side. Now take a copy again and divide it by five. Now let me scale them. Let me select four of them and use move tool. Move it here by two centimeter and now these ones again two centimeter like this. So then use push pull tool and empty two. Now let's work on CNC pattern of the beer. If you want to have this CNC pattern, let me know in the comment below. Let me go to inside of that and make it surface. Select all, use JHS Power plugin, and with this option, we can make it surface. Let me reverse this surface and delete this one and also this one. Now use push wheel tool and extrude by 0.5 here here and also here and now here by 0.3 now we have two group the door and cnc pattern let's use solid tools and with subtract option first Select the CNC pattern, then the door, like this. It's so amazing. And let me put material here and also here. And if you want to know how to make it animate, watch out our YouTube tutorials. I made a tutorial for that. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.